let you go. Why? Because I love you. Out in the West Texas town of El Paso, running bare, love little white dove. Green angel, can you hear me? I'm gonna stick like glue. Stick because I'm stuck on you. Papers we all know. I'm sorry, so sorry. It was a itty bitty teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. Here's no one ever. Sheila, 
Special History of Rock and Roll Time Sweep, reviewing number one records of the past quarter century. We've gone from November of 1955 up through January of 1964. Coming up, the landmark song that introduced Americans to the number one recording act of all time. That's next on the History of Rock and Roll. The History of Rock and Roll continues with our time sweep of number one records. In this next segment, we'll hear the music of the British Invasion, starring the Beatles, when American recording acts were almost excluded from their own charts. We'll also be hearing from a few major American acts who continued to do well during that period, including the Four Seasons, the Temptations, the Righteous Brothers, and the Supremes. We began in February of 1964 with the first number one song by the most successful group of the rock era. This is Louis Dallin. Nothing you can take can tear me away from my God. Love, love, we do. You know I love you. Going into the chapel of love. I don't care what they say. I won't stay in a world without love. Round, round, get around. I get around. Yeah, get around, round, round. I get around. I get around. Walking down the street singing Spark still burns, so I used my knife, and late that night I saved the life of Ringo. Lonely, I'm Mr. Lonely. When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go down. 
This segment of our time sweep was a 20th number one song by the Beatles, The Long and Winding Road. That was their last hit together as a group, and it marked the end of the Beatles era in pop music. In a moment, we'll continue our time sweep of the number one song to the last two and a half decades on the history of rock and roll. The history of rock and roll continues. The first half of the 70s was a time of transition for Americans, unwinding from the political and social turbulence of the 60s. Rock music reflected that shift, with mellow rock becoming increasingly popular. The biggest stars to emerge during that period included James Taylor, Elton John, Helen Reddy, The Carpenters, Barry Manilow, and a group that was still turning out a blend of rock and soul as the 70s began, The Jackson Five. <laughs>
across that thing with both hands holding my baby. Before the next tear 
teardrop falls. Thank God I'm a country boy. Will I keep on thinking about you, Sister Golden Hair Supply? I will keep us together. Don't you listen to what the man. Staple Singers, finishing this segment of our collage with Let's Do It Again. Our time sweep will roll on through the end of the 70s and into a new decade when we continue on the history of rock and roll. By 1976, rock fans who had survived the national traumas of Vietnam and Watergate began looking to their music for a return to better times and better feelings. They found what they wanted throughout the second half of the 70s in the predominantly up-tempo rock of stars like Rod Stewart, the Bee Gees, Paul McCartney and Wings, Billy Joel, Earth, Wind and Fire, Donna Summer, and others.
games that people play. And we won't waste Babe, I believe in I must be on my way You're the lady I'm looking for Come with me So precious together. You've just heard the history of rock and roll time sweep. Our review of number one records in order from November 1955 to February 1981. More than a quarter century of music, magic, and memories.